Yo, what is up everyone? I'm Carlos and we're Emlet Sauce and this is part 2 of our My Hero Academia What If series What If Deku got into UA without a quirk? But before we begin this part, leave down a comment below on any other what if idea that you would like for us to do in the future for any anime and we'll make sure to reply to it. Now, let's get on with the what if. The entire class is in complete shock hearing that Izuku Midoriya got into UA without a quirk, while Bakugo is angry. Some of them think this is all a joke, but Izawa says he's completely serious about this. Some of them also ask Midoriya how is he going to be a pro hero, and how he would got to where he is now, and Midoriya explains his story as a kid, he heard that he didn't manifest a quirk, and almost lost hope, but he said that he's just changed his dream from being the number one hero, to being the first pro hero without a quirk. He says that he trained for many years since he was five, and that was all he did for those years. Ida talks about how he would fight against people with quirks, as Midoriya states that the quirks may have weaknesses or the person themselves. Midoriya says that he would exploit those weaknesses to use that against his opponent to beat them. After the first day is completed, Aizawa keeps Midoriya after to start their extra classes and training as Aizawa starts fighting to see Midoriya's fighting skills. Midoriya also says to Aizawa all the weapons he could use, but their first day is testing Midoriya's fighting capability. A bit far away at a distance, Oraka is watching them as she is more interested in Midoriya and how he managed to save her and be fearless without even having a quirk. Also, All Might is away looking at Midoriya, kind of feeling a little regret from not giving him the chance of giving him one for all and saying he couldn't be a pro hero. Days pass and the same goes on after school for Midoriya and still builds up a friendship with Oraka and Ida. Then comes the hero vs villain training class. When All Might appeared in the class, everyone was excited to see him, except for Midoriya who didn't look excited at all and Oraka noticed Midoriya and thought something was wrong. The team is the same, but Midoriya's costume has some support gear. He has a staff, flash grenade, and gloves, and boots that can stick to surfaces and strengthen his legs and arm attacks. Midoriya also added two of his own gear to go with the costume, the smoke bomb he made at home and nunchucks that he modded, which could extend a bit far away from him. Before the practice begins, Oraka asks why he looked upset when All Might appeared in the room, and Midoriya explained that All Might saved him, and Midoriya asked All Might if he could be a hero without a quirk, and All Might said no to him, which made Midoriya really upset, and mainly that it was his idol who told him that right in front of him. But Midoriya didn't give up there, and now he wants to prove All Might wrong and show him that he can become a pro hero, even though he doesn't have a quirk. Oraka tells him that she believes in him and on what he's trying to do, and this gives Midori a little smile and he blushes a little. The match begins, and Midori asks Oraka to follow him as they sneak around the building. While Midori talks to Oraka, telling her the plan, he explains the weaknesses of Bakugo if they were to face him. He says that Bakugo has a superiority complex, and that if someone outperforms him, he loses control and his anger issues will boil up. Midori asks Oraka to hold up to him as she uses her quirk to make her lighter and holds on to Midoriya. He uses his gloves to climb up around the building to see where the bomb is and they finally found it but they only see Ida protecting the bomb and Midoriya states that Ida took all the items in the room to counter Oraka's quirk as now Oraka thinks she's not much help but Midoriya hands her his staff and explains that they will break in and Midoriya will use his flash grenade to stun Ida and she'll throw the staff at Ida in case they need more time. They break in and Midoriya throws his flash grenade that stuns Ida and Ida tells Bakugo to head back as Uraraka knocks Ida out with the staff as they head to the bomb but Bakugo comes from underneath breaking the floor heading towards Midoriya. Bakugo uses multiple explosions to attack Midoriya but Midoriya dodges the attacks and throws a smoke bomb at Bakugo's face and this blinds him but Bakugo attacks recklessly and Uraka gets hurt and Midoriya gets angry at this and uses his modded nunchuck 
and extends it to Bakugo's feet and drops into the floor as Midoriya knocks out Bakugo with his staff. As Midoriya picks up Uraraka and they go to touch the bomb as the hero team wins. Midoriya asks Uraraka if she's okay and she says yes as Midoriya lets her get up. Midoriya then picked up Bakugo and Ida and brought them to the main room and the nurse brought them to the nurse's office. All Might then asked the class who was the MVP in that battle and it was obviously Midoriya. As Midoriya walks in, everyone cheers for him, saying that his plan and the way he fought was amazing. And he and Uraka were just getting compliments on their teamwork as they just brush it off. All Might taps Midoriya on the shoulder and congratulates him on his work. And Midoriya thanks them, then walks away. The other matchup goes the same, but they are more excited and try harder after seeing Midoriya's match. The end of the day arrives and Ida and Bakugo finally wake up. Midoriya and Uraka visits them and Uraka apologizes to Ida if she hit him too hard. But Ida says it was alright and asks who won as she says that it was her and Midoriya's win. Midoriya tries to talk to Bakugo but he just shouts at Midoriya, pushing him aside and storming off. Midoriya follows saying why he's so mad at him losing to Midoriya but this angers Bakugo even more as he goes to attack Midoriya but Midoriya catches his arm and flips behind Bakugo so he couldn't hit him. Uraka and Ida rushes out to see what's going on and Midoriya asks for help but Bakugo loses it and starts sending some random explosions that hit Midoriya and it even starts to burn his right arm but he holds on so Bakugo doesn't get hurt or destroys the building and he tells Bakugo to calm down but Bakugo isn't stopping and the other two are about to go help Midoriya but Aizawa arrives and turns off Bakugo's quirk. Aizawa is furious at Bakugo, losing control and attacking Midoriya just because he lost to Midoriya as he ties up Bakugo and starts to bring him to the principal and Aizawa thanks Midoriya for controlling Bakugo to the best of his abilities as he tells Midoriya to go to the nurse's office to heal that wound. Uraka and Ida rushes towards Midoriya asking if he's okay and seeing the big burn mark on his hand but Midoriya says he's fine and it'll heal up just fine. Midoriya walks to the nurse's office, feeling a bit sad on how Bakugo acted and is afraid that he might get expelled. Later that day, Midoriya meets with Aizawa for their training, and Midoriya asked Aizawa if Bakugo got expelled, and Aizawa confirmed this, saying that he is not deserving to be at UA, as Midoriya feels bad, but there was nothing he could do about it as they start up their training. At night, Bakugo is walking around angrily, breaking things. He walks past as he gets to an alleyway to blow off some steam, but he gets so angry, calling pro heroes stupid and that he hates them, and starts using his quirk, blowing stuff up. When suddenly, a pro hero arrives, yelling at Bakugo, asking what he is doing, and tells him to stop using his quirk, but Bakugo loses it once again and attacks the pro hero, using a huge explosion destroying the nearby buildings, and Bakugo gets up hurt from his own attack and goes to see the pro hero but the pro hero is dead as he got impaled from some rhubar and instead of Bakugo freaking out on what he did he just laughs loudly with an evil grin then Bakugo falls through a portal seeing a man with hands all around him as he tells Bakugo that he has a proposition well everyone that's the end of this part of the My Academia what if if you enjoyed leave a like consider subscribing and share this video with your friends. Also, if you have any other what if ideas that you would like for us to do in the future for any anime, leave it down in the comments below and we'll make sure to reply to it. That's all I have to say and thank you all for watching. Peace.